G'day, I'm Mark. Today from the shed, we're continuing our talk about compressors. In video one, we spoke about why a compressor is a must have for any shed. So which compressor is right for you? Let's talk about the different types of compressors. Over here, we have a TM325i by Pilot Air. A two stage, two cylinder pump. Now this system pumps air from one cylinder into another cylinder, directly down the line into the tank. Now this system allows you to achieve higher pressure. Now why would you need higher pressure? Well, for instance, you could pump up truck tires that do require higher pressure. Now over here, we have a Hafco Super 12 air compressor. It's a two cylinder single stage pump where each cylinder pumps directly into the tank. Now that produces higher volume of air. For example, you could run air tools that require high volume of air, as well as sandblast cabinets. Now, out of these compressors, which one suits you? As you can see, there's plenty of 240 volt compressors to choose from. Take this one for instance, by Ross. Direct drive, twin pump on a small 36 litre tank. Right up to this big fella from Hafco Super 16 with a triple cylinder on a massive 125 litre tank. Before we talk about what's in between, here's a biggie to consider. Take this compressor for instance. It runs a 10 amp power supply where this compressor is a much bigger compressor and is required a 15 amp dedicated circuit. Yeah. If you really want to get serious, this Super 16 by Hafco could be the compressor for you. A slow revving triple cylinder high flow pump into a huge 125 litre tank, but it will require a 15 amp power circuit to run. Now this compressor will do everything the rest will do and more. For example, it'll run a medium sandblast cabinet it'll spray paint a whole car. You can even run high volume air tools. We've talked about some of the larger compressors in our range. Now let's go the other way and have a look at this little fella by Maxis. Very lightweight and portable. Now ideal users for this are for tradies who love taking them on site and use them for nail guns. Also around the home for small jobs. As well as physical size, air compressors vary in output ratings known as free air delivery, measured in litres per minute. Let me run you through these. This one is 204 litres per minute output. This little baby is 24 litres per minute output. And this one is 238 litres per minute output. Now why is this important? It's very important when selecting an air compressor to match your air tools. All air tools have a rating, so you need to match the compressor to your tools. If you need compressed air on the go and you don't have access to 240 volt power, this compressor by Pilot Air could be for you. Petrol driven into a two cylinder pump on a 58 litre tank. Air on the go when you need it. To wrap up, when selecting the right compressor for you, there are three key points to consider. Air tools, it's very important to know your air tool consumption to match the right compressor to them. Power supply, having the correct power outlet in your home or garage, either 10 amp or 15 amp. Last but not least, the air receiver. The bigger the tank, the longer air supply you'll have. Now you've found the right compressor, we need to install it. So in our next video, we'll show you how.